guys welcome back to my channel and look outlet <sighs> sent me lots of boxes so I ordered um, a few things right around Christmas before and right after Christmas which I got like last week or two weeks ago or whatever it was the last um, unboxing was then I ordered a couple of things throughout the month of January and color me shocked when all of it shows up yesterday. I had three boxes show up yesterday from the entire month of January, from the very first of January all the way through the very end of January. So the only thing that's left out there is two boxes from February that are still floating around in the abyss and will probably not be here for some time. But I have three boxes to show you. I also have a couple of extra books to show you too. So I have not been doing a lot of extra book shopping. I've been trying to behave myself because we all know that book outlet is my downfall, but I've been trying to behave myself on things like Barnes and Noble. I've only been buying, like I'll make a purchase of something that I actually need to buy and then I'll throw in something I want. So I have a couple things. So I have a couple of things. I have one from Barnes and Noble, one from the Salvation Army and one from Japan. I'm gonna start with the one from Japan because that's the one I'm most excited about. So you're gonna get the most exciting things at the beginning and the end. You'll get the Japan book at the beginning and the boxes at the end. Okay, the whole video is unboxes, boxes, but I'm just making crap out now. But this is super exciting to me. So my husband just got back from Japan on Saturday morning, 2 a.m., whatever it is. And it's now Sunday, so like two days ago. And he brought me Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone written in Japanese so of course I have no idea how to read this but I think that the book is absolutely beautiful and there is illustrations in here if I can find one I will show you at the beginning of every chapter there's a little illustration and I think Norbert's my favorite I'm not sure where Norbert's chapter is okay so I had to find Norbert's chapter and it was towards the end I suppose it's weird but check out Norbert isn't he cute just love him okay so this is my newest addition to my Harry Potter shelf shelves wall that will someday be and it's the Japanese version so happy okay so I also went to the thrift store and I um, dropped off a bunch of stuff I did it like last week or something and while I was there, I decided to go in and see what they had for books. And they didn't have much. They had very, very little. The guy was so excited about their huge selection of books. A, there wasn't much there. And B, what was there was kind of trash. But I found me and Earl and the Dying Girl. I've heard really mixed things about this, but it was 50 cents. It was in great shape. And I'm curious enough that I went and bought it. And the last thing I bought that's not in a box is this. So The Name of the Wind, I've heard amazing things about. And when I saw someone show this edition, this special edition that they have, it's got pictures in it, it's got sprayed edges, it's got a beautiful cover. When I heard about it, I went ahead and I wanted to get it. So it normally costs $40, but Barnes and Noble had it on sale for like 22, plus I had a coupon, so it brought it down to like $16. And $16 is basically what I would have spent for a normal hardcover copy anyway, so I went ahead and I bought it. I don't know what's about. I've heard amazing things about it, and I've been curious for a while. So I know that it's fantasy, so I didn't want to read too much about it beforehand because I didn't want it to get spoiled, but I have three boxes. One is ginormous and the other two are small. So we're gonna start with the ginormous box because that just seems like the right idea to me. And here it is. I bought this right at the beginning of the year. It was like January 1st or I don't know when I bought this. All I know is that it normally takes a month for book outlet boxes to get delivered. And this one had hit its month about two weeks ago. So it take, took about, let me reiterate, 
It takes about a month once it hits California. So it takes about a week to get from New York or wherever it comes from to get to California. And then once it gets to California, it takes a month for it to get to Guam. It left California on January 18th and got here yesterday. And yesterday was the 24th of February. So this box took considerably longer than usual. However, one of the other boxes over here only took like three weeks. So I don't know. And they came at the, they came on the same day and everything. I'm thinking that they may have been on the same cargo ship. And for some reason, this was at the beginning of the cargo. That was at the end of the cargo. I don't know. Okay, so I have my little receipt. And two little pieces of paper. Now, this box has been forever waiting. So I have no idea exactly what's in here. I guess we're gonna find out together and keep in mind like always with these out these um, hauls, I may not be able to remember what the book is about. All right, so first we have um, The Last of August. It is a retelling of um, Watson and Holmes. And I have the first one, this is the second one. Now the next question, where to put all these books, because I don't know. Next we have Water Song, Winter Song, Winter Song. <laughs> and this is another retelling. I just don't remember what it's retelling. Is it Snow White? Is it Beauty and the Beast? I don't remember. It's a retelling of some sort. And then we have Long May She Rain. Haley and Bookman read this and she described it and it sounded really interesting to me. It's been a very long time and I can't remember what it's about. Which, as you guys know, those of you who have been here before and have seen my unboxings before, this is kind of a common trend that I don't remember what half my books are about because I bought them so long ago. Next we have Ruined. And I have the second one sitting in my cart, but I haven't bought it yet. And the corner's all sticky. Oh. Revenge that will consume her and love that will ruin her. Don't know. All right, here's another one of those books that I totally knew what it was about. I was so excited to get it, and now I can't remember. So it started with a prank. It started with pranks, fun, and forever memories, and it's about a secret society. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. So next we have one of the next books in the Winner's Curse series. This is number three, and I think number two is in here also, so if I find it, I will show you. And then we have um, the Cain Chronicles. Cain Chronicles? I don't know. So we have Frostfire and Ice Kiss, and they are part of the same series, obviously. I think they're one and two, but I can't remember for sure. It says, hidden within the, in the heart of the snow-covered wilderness lies in secret kingdoms of Canaan, a magical realm as beautiful as it is treacherous. I almost said Tetris, because Tetris is totally what this is about. Let's see how big I can make my stack and if it like comes and peds into my, oh, this one's kind of dinged up. So this is called Painful, and I don't remember what it's about. But for all my planners out there, um, Elle was reading this. She was like sitting in the bathtub reading this and talking about her baby. And I remember thinking, oh my God, I want to read that. And just looking at the back, all I see is RMS Titanic. And if you guys know, I have a Titanic issue. That's probably why I was like, oh my gosh, it's something about the Titanic and werewolves. <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. She says it's total trash, but she loved it. So I bought it. Because, of course, I had to look it up as soon as she mentioned it. This is supposed to be scary. Um, I've heard mixed things about it. Oh, hey. It's the same author. And I didn't realize it. Okay. Um, this is supposed to be like a horror, thriller, teen book. I don't remember what it's about, but I've heard mixed things about it. Some people love it, some people hated it. 
I was curious. Lala liked it. Yes, I think she did. I could be wrong. So I grabbed it. Um, I'm trying to branch out some. So I do have some not YA books in here. This is the Book of Speculation. Um, it was really pretty and it had books on it. And it won an award for being the best fiction. So, yeah. That works, right? Okay, so the inside flap says, um, Dear Mr. Watson, I came across this book at an auction as part of a larger lot. I purchased on speculation. The damage rendered makes it useless to me, but a name inside led me to believe that it might be interest to you or your family. I'm always up for interesting books. So um, this is of Saints and Mist... And Mist Saints and Mist... Oh my God. This book is Saints and Misfits. If I can speak, I will be great. I don't know much about this book. All I know is that it is about a culture that is not my own. And it says there are three kinds of people in my life, saints, misfits, and monsters. And I know it's a contemporary. It's supposed to be good. I've heard good things about it. I like contemporaries. And I don't have very many, so I tend to buy them when I find them. And this one keeps popping up and just kept speaking to me, telling me to buy it. So I did. Um, next, this was one of my scratch and dents, which I was okay with because it's a box set. And so I figured if the box was a little ruined, it wasn't a big deal. It's the uh, Wonderla trilogy, and the box is kind of dinged up. But with the exception of some chewed up bottom edges right here. The books look like they're in great condition. So don't, this is, um, this was an author buy for me. This wasn't a cover buy, this was an author buy. Uh, Tony, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Uh, Dead or Ed Lindsay, I don't know. Okay, so this book is written by the same author who wrote The Spider Whip Chronicles. So I bought it because of who the author is. I did buy it, Scratch and Dent. There was only a couple available, so I wanted to get it regardless. And the only real damage I can see besides the box being totally jacked up is there's a little bit of damage to the bottom corner right here. But I don't think it's gonna bother me. This is a middle grade series. It's supposed to be really good. I've heard wonderful things about it. And I thought it'd be a good idea to give it a shot. Especially because it was stupid cheap because it was scrap and dent. I don't know why I don't like carnivals. I like the rise and the food and that kind of stuff. But I don't like some of the other aspects of it, especially if it's like a circus because I worry about the animals and the clowns kind of freak me out. Um, but for some reason, something about this triggered me and I just kind of wanted to read it. Besides the fact that it's beautiful, I don't remember what it was. There was just something about it that made me kind of go, hmm, I want to read that. So I got it and it's kind of a short book, so I should be able to read it fast. All right, so here is the other book. So now I have one, two, and three. I have all of them. The big question is where did I put one because I have to find it now. I keep rearranging my bookshelves. Now all of my books are on my bookshelves, but there's no room for the new books that I just got. So I'm gonna have stack with my floors. All right, so this one, <laughs> it's called Fever. It's about Typhoid Mary. I don't know why, I was just curious. I was like, Typhoid Mary, okay, I'll buy it. This one is called Crown of Wishes. It is the second book to the Star Touch Queen, which I've heard great things about. I have not read it yet, but as of any fantasy book, especially ones that have to do with fairy tales, and I want to say this one is also about a fairy tale, I was interested in it. And I went ahead and I grabbed this one because it popped up and I've been eyeballing the first one, so I have a feeling I'm reading this sooner than later. All right, two more in this box. The first one is The Dark Days Club. Again, I cannot remember what it's about. I remember being really excited about it. It says she must make a choice for reputation or save the world, and it's based in 1812. 
So we have an historical ish. I don't remember. I hate this. I hate that these books come so late because I did know what this was about. I was really excited about it. And I remember thinking, yay, it's finally here. When I was looking at all the, I knew that I had bought it. I just didn't, I thought it went from you. I don't know. Um, another bookshop one. I like, love bookstores and so I thought this would be kind of fun to read. It is about a matchmaker. It's like you go into this bookshop and she can give you the perfect book. I think that's kind of what the Paris one's about too. It just, I don't know. I love bookstores and the idea of reading a book about bookstores I thought was really great. Plus, I don't have enough adult books in my life. So now I have another one. Okay, so now I have two more boxes. That was my big one. I have my small, this is my smallest box. And then the other one I have is right smack in between the two sizes. It's not my biggest, but it's definitely not the tiny one either. And of course, this one was barely $35. Um, it was just over $35, but I accidentally put a, sec a book in here that I already had. And so I emailed them really quick and they took it off for me and then didn't charge me shipping when it ended up falling under the $35 mark. So I spent like $34 on this particular box. I have my receipts and my papers. Ooh. And there's nine books in here. So the first one is um, Dream a Little Dream, which is the wrong one. They took the wrong one off. Oh, they sent me the wrong one. This was supposed to be Dream On. This is supposed to be the second book in the series, not the first book in the series. And I don't know if the first book is in here. Is that book's in here or not? It is. They sent me an extra one. Gosh, my pile of giveaway books is going huge. They weren't supposed to send me this. Everything's in the box and I don't know what happened. They were not supposed to send me this one. They were just supposed to send me this one. Because I already have this one and I screwed up and I put both in my cart. They took this one off, I did not get charged for it, and I still have it. Now I have an extra one. I'll add it to my giveaway pile. That's four books now. All right, so the next one I have is By Your Side. I checked it out from the library and I read it, and it was so cute. I bought it for myself after I finished. It's about this girl who gets stuck in the library, and she meets a boy, and it's cute. I like those goofy romances. All right, so I also got Anna Dressed in Blood and Girl of Nightmares, which is book one and book two. I have read something else by Kendra Blake and I cannot think of what it is at the moment. I was trying to think about it earlier, but now I don't remember. But this is about like a murder mystery thing where the, the ghost comes back to haunt. I don't know, it sounds cool, but I have both books. And then we have Spindle. Spindle is a uh, Sleeping Beauty retelling. That's all I needed to know. This one is an author by. Jenna Schulwalter is one of my favorite authors and I was really, really excited to see that one of her newer books was in here. I have the first one in paperback, but I have not read it yet and I don't know why. I mean, she's one of my favorite authors. I haven't gotten to it. Now I have more incentive to get to it sooner. Um, I also got American Street. I've heard really good things about this. I heard it was really sad, but and it was kind of like a the sun is also a star type of story where it's an immigration issue. Um, I thought it sounded really good, and I enjoy these types of books. I really enjoyed some, uh, the sun is also a star, so I figured I'd give this one a shot. And then lastly, for this box is um, Valiant. And Valiant is a gender bender, I think. So it is a gladiator book. And it's about this daughter of a warrior who is enemies with um, Caesar. I'm curious. 
So yeah, there you go. One more box. Final box. I have made a mess. My daughter has come out of her, her, her hiding hole and... Okay, so we have receipts. Paper, paper. All right, stop. All right. Now it's dark in here. Wish my lighting would make up its mind. Third box. So the first book I have is Legend of Starfire. It is the sequel to um, the silver, the sliver of star dust. Oh my gosh. Guys, I suck today. And it is too dark in here all of a sudden. Okay. So this is the second book in the silver sliver of stardust. I swear I can read. I do it often. Reading to you guys is difficult for me and I don't know why, even reading a book title. Um, this is a middle grade. The first book sounded really fun. The second book popped up. I have not read it yet. You get the spiel, right? Okay. So I've never read any Jane Austen, but I saw this as a modern retelling of Emma. And part of the problem that I have not read, part of the reason I have not read anything from Jane Austen is because of the way that the language is written. It throws me off the um, learning disability, reading disability side of me has problems with the, with the language. So I can listen to them, but I cannot read them. And I have not done either yet. When I saw this, is it a modern retelling? I thought, hmm, I wanna try this. So Emma. And then I got a copy of The Thousandth Floor because I have it on my Kindle, but I have not read it yet. And part of the reason I haven't read it yet is because it's on my Kindle. It's pretty. So I got it. And I know it's a social light book about the people that live in this high rise and that the higher you live, the more money and prestige you have. And it's got drama. The, th the tagline on the front says, the higher you are, the farther you fall. So let's see. Okay, I found these two books. They're by the same author, but they're not the same series. I think they're just standalones. This one is A Change of Heart, and this one is The Bollywood Affair. And I read the synopsis for both of them and thought that they sounded. <laughs> Definitely. So I read the synopsis on both of them. I thought they sounded really interesting. One of them's about an arranged marriage. Um, I don't remember. It's been a long time. I've had this on my list for a little bit. And when the, the uh, amount of books started to get low, I, bought, I went ahead and grabbed them because I was trying to be good and not buy too many books. And I think this is the last book I bought, the last book box. This is the newest of the book boxes. So I'm not sure what they're about. They're by the same author and they both sounded really interesting. They're not connected in any way, except for the fact that they're both by the same author. And they're both, written based off of Indian characters, I think. But I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Um, remember how we talked about Circus? This is the uh, Midnight at the Electric, I think it's another Circus book. The author is one that I recognized. It sounded interesting. It's super short. It's written in three perspectives. One is Kansas from 2065. One's Omaha from 1934. And one is England from 1919. And I have no idea what it's about, but it looks like it's written. A, the words are enormous. The chapters are super short. And there's like interesting little dates and stuff that look like little letters in here mixed in too. So I'm excited. I think it sounds interesting. I can't remember exactly what it's about, but it's going to be a fast read. So you'll find out soon. Ish. I'm assuming. I have a lot of books. We'll see how, what happens. So my mom bought one of these and it sounded cute. She bought it because she thought it would look cute on her bookshelf. I bought it because it sounded like a cute romance. Um, this was the first one in the series. I went and I looked, they had a bunch of the books, but they only had like the first one and then like consecutive ones. There are several of them. So I just grabbed the one cause I have never read this author before. 
Um, it's called Something Borrowed and it's something to do with weddings. It's like a wedding planner or something along those lines. I can't remember exactly, but I'm always up for a cute romance and I don't have very many. I have more fantasy than anything else. I only have two shelves of contemporary romance type things. So I'm figuring I'm gonna add that to those shelves and give myself some contemporary romancy reprieve in between all of my fantasies. This is a second book. The first book is nearby. I can't find it now. I thought it was right here, but I guess I moved it. But um, it's a book, the first book is about the daughter of Houdini. And this is the follow-up for it. The next book I have is The Dressmaker. Again, it's another um, adult romance. I think this was an adult romance. Between the romances and the historical fictions, I can't remember which ones are which. And so if I get them mixed up, please be patient with me um, because I don't remember exactly what it's, this one's about. This one's about a, a tailor. So I wanna say this was one of the romances. Oh my gosh, I'm a total mess, you guys. I don't know. This is another favorite author. This is Mari Mancusi. I read almost every book that she's ever written. I own almost every book that she's ever written. This is her first middle grade. I thought it sounded really, really cute. I thought it'd be cute to read to Elise or just to, you know, when I get bored one day and want to spend a couple hours reading one book, I figured this would be perfect. I don't remember what she said this is about, but I am a stalker of all things Mari and she is one of my favorites, so I got it. Now, the last two books are the first and second in a series. And I got it because my friend really wants to read it and she has them and I've heard great things about them. I've also heard crappy things about them. This is one of those mixed reaction type of books. And it's The Queen of the Tearling and The Invasion of the Tearling. And there is one more after this, but they didn't have it in paperback. These are the reason I made this purchase. I tend to do that whenever there is a book that I really, really want to get and there's only like one or two left, I will buy I'll cut down my cart to a reasonable size and buy it. This was this one. So there was like one of this book left. I did not want to get them all in a hardcover, not knowing if I was gonna like them. And they, they were all mixed up. So I just went ahead and grabbed one and two. I got them in paperback and I look forward to reading them. We're gonna do a buddy read of them eventually. But then again, we're gonna buddy read half the books on my shelf. So who knows? So um, yeah, I have a huge, stack of books sitting next to me. Three of them actually. One, two, three. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed my video and please let me know how the sound sounds. Sound sounds. How the sound sounds. Because I have my microphone plugged in and I am curious what you guys will think of the sound. I know this room is really echoey and I'm hoping that that will help fix it. Eventually we will work on lights so that this will stop being an issue. But yay, the joys of living in Guam. It's sunny almost all the time, so you're either blown out or it's the sun's completely covered and you can't get anything. So no happy medium for us. But that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.